Yes, indeed. We just we give you a little bit of that old school. Uh, but now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am T. Mason. We are the Brick Lake. But yeah, seems as if we might only really only have one more song. This is our last song. Thank you guys for coming out. Hmm. My primary occupation, what primarily occupies my mind, probably the music thing. It's a little peppy. Alright, we'll see. And, uh, you know, wanting to kind of write good music and record good music and produce good music. Because, you know, there's a lot of bands in and around the area that come and go and some of them come and go without even having it documented, but the recording is what's definitive and it kind of lasts forever and you can always go back and reference that. Local rock band leader Travis Mason has spent the better part of 20 years writing, performing, or recording music here in Baton Rouge. He and his dog Brick recently moved into this Sherwood Forest home, so a place much. better known by local musicians as Volcano Studios. My sweet boy. Hey guys, welcome to Volcano Studios. <laughs> so pretty much got the whole house wired up to go. This is the main room right here with the drums and the heart, the computer system with the interfaces that accept all the input. While it's not uncommon for independent musicians to practice and even record in their bedrooms or apartments, gear for Volcano Studios occupies four rooms, two closets, and a hallway of Travis's house. He's equipped to record a full band, including rhythm and lead guitar, bass, synth, vocals, and an entire drum kit, all without leaving his house. Everybody gets headphones. So we're all in here. Oh, but definitely the dream. Living the dream over here. Mics on every drum. Guitars separated in other rooms. I used to draw diagrams of this type of stuff when I was a kid. You know. And that, that's the thing. When I was young, there wasn't no, oh, I'm going to get a career. Oh, I'm going to go work somewhere. Or I'm going to go to school. This is what I wanted to do. Uh -huh, yeah. Now you see where we're going with this. <laughs> I, like, I want to play drums in a band and live band life. And that's kind of what it's been. I've kind of dedicated my life to this whole thing. But, you know, when you crunch the numbers, really it's hard to, you know, make a living doing this type of work. You got to work to make money. And that they're not giving it away, apparently. I mean, maybe they are, I don't know. <laughs> you know, if you want anything in this life, you kind of got to have to work for it. And that's whether if you want to do this stuff. It takes a lot of work to do this. And though you may even catch him delivering your late night pizza when he's got his eye on a new piece of gear, Travis will never ask a musician for even a tip when they record in Volcano Studios. He considers recording underground artists an art of its own. And I guess it all started from writing my own stuff. You know, having songs that I wanted to hear. And I didn't have a band, so I kind of had to record it all myself. So then you start piecing it out, put the guitar down, put the drums down, put the vocals down, lace them, and then, oh, there's my song. And then I start doing a bunch of that, you write a bunch of songs, and... Before you know it, you got like a whole record full of stuff and you realize I could probably do this for other people because there's probably tons of people out there that have songs that want to hear their songs, but they don't necessarily have a band. So that's kind of where the whole volcano idea came from. It's like, oh, wow, maybe I could play drums and record 
some of these, you know, singer songwriters that don't necessarily have a band but has songs that they want to first hear themselves and then, you know, show to the world. It's good to be home, boys, at the volcano. Now let's hit it. there is a whole thought behind the whole volcano idea. The volcano takes the liquid hot magma underground and pulls it into hot lava above ground. So we're taking the magma underground and we're spewing hot lava. And speaking of hot lava, we'll be on the lookout in 2023 for Volcano Studios' first official release a compilation album featuring original tracks from some of Baton Rouge's hottest underground rockers. Iger TV Music News, this is Wilton Landry reporting. Whole song, they're not ready for that. I was like, dude, you gotta let me record the jingle. Have you Kelly's ever? Restaurant Bar Equipment, the extra mile with a smile. <laughs>